welcome back in this lecture you will understand how to use a very important function called as reduce by using reduce we can achieve lot of complex transformations many people don't know how to use reduce properly and they don't even understand how this reduce works i'll try to put it as simple as possible so i have a transform message component right now here where i have created all the four variables right now i'll take the first variable the numbers from 1 to 5 this will actually create an array of 1 to 5 i want to compute a sum of numbers 1 to 5 using reduce operation right actually the reduce function will internally use a concept of tail recursion which we discussed in earlier video so the reduce function it internally requires something called as accumulator right so let us try to see i'll try to make it as simple as possible i'll try to call reduce function with the first numbers array so there is reduce function core module i can directly use reduce first argument will be the array i'll pass numbers i want sum right now second argument should be a function which tells what you want to do with each number in this array so it should be a function which tells what to do with each element and this function will take first argument as a current element i'll write it as an element comma accumulator acc l right now what the function should do for each element is i'll write i'll return acc plus element now you can see the output of this reduce element is nothing but 15 sum of 1 to 5 what this reduce function will do is it will iterate over each element of this array for each element it will call this function right the first argument is a current element and second argument is a accumulator so as i'm using plus here the default accumulator will be zero for the first time to make it elaborate i will write this function actually second argument is an anonymous function right so i will write this separately to be very clear fun um my reduce logic function okay this should take a uh, element comma accumulator and what it should return is um, accumulator plus element okay so this is my function mm. why is it giving an error sorry is equals to actually okay now i will pass this function name as the argument now you can clearly see what will this reduce function do it will iterate over each element of this numbers and for each element it will call this function first element will be first argument will be the current element that means first time in the loop it will be 1 second time this element will be 2 and the value of accumulator which will be passed initially will be zero right now let me make it as 1 to 6 yes i got 21 right so that's how it works now um i want a factorial of 6 uh, factorial means it should be a multiplication right i want factorial of all the numbers present inside it. i want to multiply all the numbers present inside like 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 
so what I will do is I'll use ACC into now you can see 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 is equal to 720 let me make it as 1 into 1 to 3 it will be very clear 1 into 2 into 3 is 6 so just by changing this I got all the elements multiplied now clearly understand because I am going to complicate it reduce the function which will iterate over the first argument for each element in that array it will call the function the first element of this function will be automatically the current element and the accumulator actually this accumulator value which will pass initially will be zero when I use plus operator right and when I use into accumulator will be one automatically it will take care right now the same function can I write like this uh, numbers it is a two argument function right numbers reduce the function name can I do it like this yeah see here when I am using the function name uh, it's not working now I'll pass an anonymous function only let us see anonymous function which will take element comma ACC and uh, when I'm passing anonymous function I'll just have to use arrow ACC into element so I got it so now if, if I make 1 to 5 I'll get 120 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 yes so writing this syntax is equivalent to this one right second argument is the function in this case it is anonymous function okay actually whenever I am using into here multiplication the default value of accumulator is 1 I can initialize it with whatever I want let's say 2 see I got 2 into 3 into 2 into 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 starts with accumulator 2 by default if I don't pass anything if I am using multiplication operator accumulator will be used as 1 initially if I am using plus it is 0 okay now um, let me use this accumulation operation with plus plus okay instead of plus it is plus plus let's see what will happen hey for the first time accumulator is in the loop one sorry zero right concatenated with plus plus so you can see one two three four five is it for every time the current element gets concatenated to the string so whenever you are using plus plus actually the accumulator is nothing but empty string concatenation I can pass a now you can see a right so whenever I am using plus plus operation it is a concatenation operation by default the accumulator value will be an empty array to that empty array first time in the loop one is added then concatenate 2 3 4 5 like that right so now you understood suppose if I want to reverse what I can do I can use element plus plus accumulator let us see will I get the reverse of all the numbers yes 5 to 1 is it okay now you understood how to use plus plus now uh, I want it to be applied on uh, an empty array so I want to iterate over this uh, or I'll, I'll use like this uh, I will use empty array and um, to the empty array I'll use plus plus element let us see
plus plus element current element can i use a number in concatenation with an array let me use plus hey yes that means initially the accumulator is empty array first time in the loop the reduce will loop through the list of numbers right first time the first element is one is added to array second time two three four five so like that i can specify what i want to use as an accumulator in this case if i say array is accumulator finally i'll be getting a uh, array using this formula all right okay now um let me use plus plus can i concatenate with another with a uh, can i concatenate an array with a number it is not making sense is it for numbers it is not making sense so actually i'll pass this array nested array so what it will iterate over each element of the array and then accumulate inside this one right so you can see first empty array plus plus this array it will become an array which contains one plus plus another array it will add two three plus plus another array so like that you will get a flattened array is it don't you think that it is same as uh, flatten function which we have used earlier flatten uh, which will take let's say nested array is it the same yes flatten using flatten is equivalent to reduce operation using accumulator as an array now let me apply this on an object array okay i'll write it here i will apply this on object array object array flatten and the function element comma accumulator Okay, sorry what i am doing actually it is reduce not flatten so object array reduce element comma accumulator what i want is i want accumulator to be an empty object and then um i'll write accumulator plus plus current element let us see mm. yes so first time in the loop the reduce operation will will concatenate with empty object it will concatenate first element first element is what one column one column one again second one finally we have accumulated is it uh, that, that means it's not creating an object using the elements of this array of this of this array yes is it something similar to constructing an object from an array like this um, yes both are same this syntax and using reduce also we can achieve the same but see i want you to understand how i am using reduce with various accumulators here parenthesis curly braces is an accumulator so we are going to accumulate each element of the array now let me apply this on this string array mm, i want to iterate over the string array and apply reduce operation string array reduce reduce and uh, what i want to do is i want to apply element comma accumulator is equals to 
um, again an empty array what I will do is uh, I'll use ACC plus element let us see I got the same array is it okay that's not the thing now I want to apply some logic here by using some if else okay so what I want to do is I want to check in this array how many letters are there whose size is greater than three size size means number of letters in each word if it is greater than three I want to apply such logic so what I will do is I will make accumulator since I want to count accumulator is zero now I will use um, if else conditions if to find the size of a string there is an operation there is a function called a size of current element current element greater than 3 then 1 else 0 so um, this will emit 1 or 0 and then the whole thing I want it to be combined with accumulator plus accumulator plus I will write this logic now how many I got how many are there whose size is more than 3 these two right let me write one more comma 5 says so it 3 yes these three words are having more than size 3 so I can write an if else condition also in the accumulation so now I got a count of words in this array whose size is greater than 3 right okay so actually we understood various accumulators accumulator which is a number like 1 or 0 when it is a plus operation or multiplication operation between accumulator and element we have seen accumulators as empty objects we have seen accumulators as arrays so in the next video i am going to show you a very good practical application of reduce to actually create complex transformations see you in the next video again on reduce